Welcome back to The Altered Life. In this video, we're going to be doing another install. Uh, pretty easy to guess what we're installing, probably by the title and what's in front of me. So, we are preparing to leave for our 17-day honeymoon trip. Lauren and I got married back on June 1st. So today's September 17th, so it's been a few months since, since the wedding. But if you guys have been following along in the build, you know everything that we've done at the Jeep. And to be more prepared for this trip, we wanted to have a winch. So with the Motorbilt hammer front bumper, it gives us the option to put one on and take one off. And since my YJ is still nothing but a frame right now, it doesn't really need this at the moment. So we're going to throw it on here. That way we are uh, good to go for our trip. So stick along through the video. I'll show you how we do this. So this is the brand new VR Evo 10S. Uh, I think it just hit the the market two weeks ago. Motobilt's front hammer bumper is winch capable, but not quite winch ready. So to make it winch ready, I had to get the Fairlead mount, which Motobilt sells as well. This is their universal Fairlead mount. So I painted it up last night to have it ready to mount on to the bumper. And as you can see, Motobilt provides the holes to mount and the hole in the bumper to run the wires for the winch. So I haven't even opened this yet. So if anything is missing. We have three days till we leave, so hopefully nothing is missing. Instructions, those are always good. It smells like a new winch. Oh yeah! Here is everything that will come with your brand new Warren VR Evo. The synthetic line, which is nicely already spooled on there. It comes with, since it's a uh, synthetic line, it comes with a aluminum fair lead, our steel hook, our ground wire, hardware, and probably the coolest feature of the new Warren VR Evo. It is a two-in-one wireless and wired remote. So you can plug it in like a normal wired remote or unplug it and hook it up and do it wirelessly. So that's pretty cool with this series of a winch that you get options of both. I know some of their higher end winches come with wireless only and then some of their older lower end winches came wired only. So it's cool that with this new line that they're giving you the option to do both. One thing I found a little weird is uh, that this one or mine doesn't have the stickers on the front. I know I've seen pictures of them that said like VR Evo and then over here it would should say 10S. I don't know if maybe this is one of the first ones and something happened and they didn't put the stickers on. So I don't know. But mine has a manufactured date. It looks like June 15th of 2019. Another cool feature with these, you can remove this control box and mount it somewhere different obviously close by because you have to have the cables to reach but you can mount this like for example I can mount this probably under the bumper if there was space that way it was more slim to give more room to pass through into the uh, radiator but yeah it's again another cool option as for the hardware that comes with the winch they're giving us eight mounting bolts and I think depending on your bumper's thickness or your plate's thickness if you need the longer or short ones. That's what I'm thinking. Then they give you your square nuts, which will slide into the feet of get in there. Slide into the feet of the winch. Then they provide you with your six washers, six um, lock washers, and then for the hardware for the fair lead mount, 
you got your two bolts, two washers, two lock washers, and your two nuts. So the two bolts for the fairlead lead mount are an 18 millimeter, and the bolts to mount it are a 16 millimeter. The more you know. Well, let's get this mounted on the bumper, and then we'll go into uh, wiring it all up. Our moto built hammer bumper has a skid plate, so if we get under, we can see our mounting holes underneath, so there and there. So I don't got much room to work with, but I think I can get it done. And if you guys can see, hopefully it's not too dark, this center area in between these gussets and the bumper would actually be a decent place to relocate the uh, control box for the winch if you wanted to take it off there and make it a more slim look. But uh, I'm going to get the winch put on top and start feeding these bolts up through the bottom. First we're going to put on our fair lead mount. Just kind of get it roughly in place there. Get our winch. Uh oh. We might be having some issues here. Just like everything in my life, nothing is easy, nothing goes the right way, and I'm having issues. So, let me show you the problem I'm having. I have the winch laid on its back here, and I have the Moto Built Universal Fairlead mount sitting here. The holes are in the right place to mount up the winch. So that's, you know, all good. The issue I'm having is this corner and strengthening brace that Motobilt provides on their universal fairlead mount is making contact with the body and won't allow it to line up with this front hole when it's sitting on top. I'm about it pushes the whole winch probably about an inch or probably about half inch to an inch behind the holes and I can't line up the holes. So this is a predicament. And here's a another closer look of what I'm talking about. The body of the winch is making contact with this brace not allowing it to come forward enough to line up with the bolt holes. I have an idea. Hi YJ. Let's see if this works. Here's the plan. I marked it with a sharpie. So I'm going to take my grinding wheel or cutoff wheel and I'm going to cut on my sharpie line to hopefully clearance it enough to allow the winch to come forward. So I'm going to do that on both sides. Um, probably should have test fit this and did everything before painting this. But you know, again, that's my life. Our channel isn't called Altered Life for nothing because I have to alter everything I want to do. So let's get to altering this. So that's what it looks like. You know, it's much nicer, cleaner, really awesome looking. And then that's what I cut out so far. I don't quite know if it's gonna fit yet, but I gotta clean up these edges, kinda make it look a little bit better than this. And then I'm gonna do this side also. And then uh, we'll take it over, test fit the winch before we do our final cleanup and our final repaint. Well, I just took this back over and checked it for the clearance and we are good to go. I'm not really upset that I had to cut that just because that's their universal mount that they've had out for years for their Fairlead. And the new Warn VR Evo was just released two weeks ago. So I 
I can completely understand why things aren't fitting, just because it's a new winch, new body design, and that's a fairly mount that's been on the market for a few years. I am going to uh, give MotoBuild a call tomorrow, let them know what I ran into, the issues I was having. That way they can go ahead and do some more research on that and uh, hopefully improve the product. That way other people don't run into the issue that I did. So I'm sure that if I would have called them, told them the situation, they would have been more than happy to send me a new one or a redesigned one that would work. But again, we're leaving for our trip in, what's well, today's, well, it's Tuesday night. We're leaving Friday morning for our trip. So for me to wait for them to make a redesign and send it, it wouldn't happen that fast. So I don't mind cutting it, altering it. I think I paid 45 bucks for it. So it's really, it's really not that big of a deal. And all it is is to hold the fair lead up. So, well, we're just going to wait for that to dry and then we'll continue on. I may continue this tomorrow. Kind of getting tired after like an hour and a half of doing that. Welcome back, guys. So it is the next day. Just got home from work. Just pulled the um, fairly mount out of my paint booth. And I want to show you guys what it looks like. Here you can see where I had the radius up. And then same with the other side over there. I think it'll be plenty strong. I don't see this, you know, hindering the strength of this because the way I cut it, it still has the weld and it still has a little bit of the side piece. It's also 3 16 inch steel and it has that bend there. So I don't see any issues with strength. But now that that's done, we can actually go ahead and install this. We're back to where we were yesterday. First comes our altered Fairlead mount. That looks much, much better. Now we're going to have to take our square nuts and put them in the four holes on each leg which can be tricky because there's not much room. I maybe should have done the back ones before putting the winch in place. Now we take our bolts and we come up through the bottom and into our square nuts. Again, these bolts are a 16 millimeter. Earlier in the video, I talked about how there was two different sized bolts. These long ones and these short ones. Looking on here, if I learn to read. So we use the uh, shorter bolts for quarter inch steel and the longer bolts for three eighths to half inch steel. So three sixteenths and three sixteenths. So the three sixteenths thick of the bumper plus the three sixteenths thick of the Fairlead mount makes three eighths. So. I need to use the longer bolts to mount this up. The problem I'm having is, is right here with the longer bolt, it is just making contact in or to the inside of the winch. And then on the back bolts, I'm making contact before the bolt is even tight. So I need a bolt that is in between these two sizes. So just a little bit shorter, but that's all they send. So now we're going to have to cut a bolt down, fun. So we had to take the longer bolts and we cut five threads off of them. They're still longer than the shorter bolts applied, but they're obviously five threads short, shorter. So now they shouldn't make contact with the bottom of the winch. Let's give it a shot and hopefully it works. Okay, after a, an hour of fighting with this, trying just to get it bolted to the bumper, finally got it bolted to the bumper. Cutting those five threads off those longer bolts was the trick and everything is mounted up solid. So 
while we're here, I wanted to show the clearance that we have now that we're all bolted up. As you can see, where my cuts were, just clears the body of the winch on the bottom. And barely right there on the front. And same with this side. We just clear the bottom of the winch and just clear the front of the winch. So looking down from the top, we have just enough clearance, but hey, clearance is clearance and the winch is now bolted in solid. So the next step is going to be running all the wires. At this point, I have the wires roughly run up from the bumper underneath the Jeep and up through the engine bay, but I do not have them hooked up yet because the instructions say to finish installing everything on the front end before you hook power to it. That way you don't pinch your hand or something kicks or something fails and you get your hand sucked into the winch. So the next step is going to be installing the uh, actual fair lead onto the fair lead mount and running our synthetic rope through. Well, the next fun thing I have encountered in this project is the bolts for the fair lead. They don't fit in the hole for one, and two, they are way too long and we're gonna make contact with the winch. So, I'm gonna have to drill out these holes and cut these down so they're just long enough to not hit the body of the winch. Hooray. So this is a uh, half inch bit and that is working perfectly. So this one's already, this batter's already dead. <laughs> As you can see, we're putting wood behind it. That way, uh, yeah, that way when it comes through, uh, we're not damaging the winch. All in the name of science. Lithium batteries. <laughs> Thanks, Walt. Let's, Let's see this one. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's oh yeah. Look at that. That's a, that's a good fresh one. <laughs> right off the charger. <laughs> okay. Take seven hundred and twelve. I finally got juice in the battery. So we're able to get the nut behind it, and these are an 18 millimeter. Lots of good ugga duggas. So with the limited space and how tight it was, we were only able to use the regular flat washer, not the uh, lock slash crush washer. Whew, all right. Yeah. That, as you can see, there is just a hair of clearance between that nut and the face of the winch. Same on this side. Just, like, yeah, I think I caught it there. Like, I don't even think you could fit a hair between there, but it's not touching. And like I said before, clearance is clearance. And we are mounted up. Whew. Continuing on to the wiring, we have our ground lead from our battery here, down, wrapped around. And this bolts on to the same lead as that skinny black wire. So we're gonna bolt it on there, and then we can bolt it to the battery. Finally, we have all the wiring done. It's all tight, tucked, neat, and wire tied. So let me show you how we did it and how we ran the wires. So for the positive lead, we came up and tied it into that terminal there that didn't have anything on it. So, so and then that comes out nice and neat and clean down along here. Then the negative lead, we had it tucked down 
Good morning. So, my camera died last night and uh, didn't get to finish recording. So, we're done. We got everything wired up. It's bolted up and the winch is on. So, last night I was showing how we were running the wires. So, let me show you just the last little bit and then we'll go into the final step that we have to do to get this thing operational, working, good to go. Yeah, let's check it out. Last night I showed how the wires came from the battery and down through the engine bay. And then from here, I was talking about how we zip tied it to the frame. It goes over the sway bar disconnect. And then in here behind the skid plate, we have it wi both wires wire tied to the harness for the sway bar disconnect. And then from there, they come right up through the provided hole in our hammer bumper and it's bolted up as you can see i don't have the warren winch hook installed yet because i got something better let's check it out yep bam so we got the factor 55 flat link e instead of the worn regular hook that comes supplied with the winch. One reason I really wanted to go with the Factor 55 is one, because it's an awesome product and an awesome company. And two, with this system, this is what's called the closed winching system. So it takes out this latch that could fail or get bent or damaged and then have something slip out during a, a winching situation where with these hooks the normal clevis shackles will go through this and screw together or you can use a soft shackle but it makes it a closed system and there's less chance for something to fail so let's put this on Oh yeah, that sucker. They do a uh, fail test on all their products, so it this flat link E did not break, or not this exact one, but their flat link E series didn't break until it hit forty two thousand one hundred pounds of pressure. So that's uh that's pretty damn impressive. So I don't think I'm ever gonna. <laughs> put 42,100 pounds of pressure against that so I should never uh, should never have an issue with this to install this on our synthetic winch rope super simple there is a snap ring in there so we pulled the snap ring out snap ring just a little snap ring don't lose it and from there, our pin's gonna come out. Set our winch to free spool. Pull this out. So, drop that right in there. Slide our pin back up through. Ring. Now, when you do this, make sure the snap ring is fully engaged in in the uh, slot, which mine is not. Mine is too low. There we go. And that's it. That is all it takes to install the Factor 55 products. They're flat link. Their flat link E, their ultra hook, it's all super simple and an awesome product. Now I can show you how the winch works. But to go wireless, you just go boom. Now you're wireless, you hold the mode button down so the wireless setting goes, and you're good to go. But I don't have a charge in it, so I have to go wired for now. That 
We have our light on. Go back. So it's full out. That's in. No mind. So that works. So when you're doing this, you should really be wearing gloves and make sure you don't pinch your fingers. But the cool thing with the Factor 55 products is you don't have to hook them to a shackle or have them worrying about banging around. You can put these flat against your fair lead. So, winch it in until it touches our fair lead. And then just give it a little snug it tight. The thing's not going anywhere. Super clean look. I'm a big fan of that. And then there's no noise, no rattle, nothing. That's it for this install. There's our brand new Warren VR Evo 10S mounted to our Motobelt Hammer bumper. As you saw, it's not too difficult of a process unless you run into issues I was having, having to modify and alter some things, but for the most part, wiring it simple, two leads, mounting it simple, four bolts, and mounting the fair lead simple, two bolts. Pretty easy process, turned out good. Now, hoping we don't have to use this during our trip to self-recover, but we have it now. And if we need to self-recover or maybe help somebody else out on the trail, we can do it. And uh, we should be able to do it reliably because we have good quality products that aren't gonna fail or shouldn't fail. But if we have to use it, you'll see it if you stick along with our videos coming up. We're gonna be leaving for our trip today. So now I have to start packing the Jeep. We have all of our stuff laid out and 24 hours to Colorado from here. It's gonna be a fun drive. But thank you for tuning into this video. If you wanna see our trip, you know, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can uh, see our new videos as we upload. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or anything, shoot us a comment down below and we'll do our best to get back to you. But for now, we will see you guys later. Thanks for watching The Altered Life. Have a good day.